Now, what I want to do next is um, show you how we can save on some CPU power. Now, for example, right here, I've got this drum part, and I'll play it back for you right now. Press the space bar. Now, this is a drum part that's a MIDI program, okay? We got the composite here, we got the beat repeat, and then we got going on right here, we got a compressor. And it's a MIDI file. Peep this, it's a MIDI file, okay? So we got a MIDI file. But what I want to do maybe is, let's say, you don't want to have this. You just want the total audio file. That means we can get rid of all this stuff, just have one file, let it play. So it'll be already processed, and it'll be just one audio file. Let's do that. So here we got this file here, which is this drum. And what I want to do right here now is uh, go here to File. I'm going to go here to Export Audio. So what it's going to do is it's going to export an audio file from this MIDI file. It's going to check the parameters here. So it's four bars in length. Oh, let's check that. Let's cancel that. Actually. Let's check this right now. Let's see how big it is. It's eight bars. Look at eight bars, all right? Make sure you know the length of it. So now we know it's eight bars. So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna make it eight. Perfect, that's eight bars. And like the master, we're going for the drum track. Right there, going for the drums. Okay, now we wanna normalize. A normalize means we'll make it as loud as possible without distortion. So we wanna make it as loud as possible. That's good. We can render as a loop. Yes, we want to render as a loop. And the parameters of this session, all the samples, all the clips that are audio will be WAV. It's going to be a WAV file. And here, convert to mono. No way. And we're going to keep it here at 44.1 hertz. So it's right there, OK? And our bit depth is going to be at 16. And these are your consumer. Um, sample rate and consumer bit depth, you know, to go to CD or whatever. And we're not dithering. And we want to create an analysis file. Now the analysis file is the file that comes back in that Live uses to analyze this total audio file. That way, if we have to raise the tempo or lower the tempo, this file will analyze it and say, okay, we can go here, we can go there. Now, since that's already been explained, let's go on. So I'll go to press OK. Now this dialog box comes up here. Where are we going to save it at? I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call this test B O U N C E. Now we're going to call this a bounce file. And I'll do it. And you see, it's exporting. And it made the bounce file. Now I go here, I'll hide that, and I'll drag this bounce file so you can see it. Here's the bounce wave, and then here is the bounce ASD, which is an analysis sound file for this one. These two files will be re-imported back into the session, and you're good to go.